am Red the Cyclone! Aria! Yes sir, yes sir. Welcome to another episode of the It Gets Better Right Square podcast. I'm your host, Louis Beans, and I'm here with Merc with the mic. What is up? What is up? Don't chill it, Merc. How you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Um, I picked up some games this week. I got that 2K WWE Battlegrounds, which I'm actually not, it's not bad. Okay. It has its problems, but it's not bad. It's not on fire though, right? No. But okay. it has it has issues. It does have its issues. Like it freezes, it, it, it glitches here and there. But the gameplay is very simplified, but fun. Like mm-hmm. I can see kids enjoying playing this because it's very simple and it's very easy to, to handle. Um, it reminds me a lot of WWE All Stars back in yeah, the day. I, Just I shorter so. people because they're all minified. Yeah, they look like they're ready to be sold to you. Yeah, as toys. Yep. Yep, yep. I like it though. It's not bad. Um, I'm, I'm playing through the story mo- mode. The story mode is kind of weird because Stone Cold Steve Austin is like your coach, and it's a comic book form. It's, it's actually not bad. Like I, I actually put the effort to put a story, so I, I give them that much credit. Um, it feels like a phone game. Like it feels like it could have came out on the phone and it would imp- people would have took it in. But it plays pretty. It plays pretty fun. Um, I tried. To, I would try the fiend. I tried uh, Austin. They have their finishers and stuff like that. But everyone, like, if you're a brawler, you kind of have the same move set. If you're a high flyer, you have the same move set. Just your finishers and signatures are different. That's about difference. Other than that, and that's exactly how All Stars was as well. Okay, got gotcha. you. So it has a good, it has a good base. So I, I could see them like improving on it and to making a better game, adding more characters and everything like that. Does it have a creator wrestler or no? Yes, it does. Oh, it does. Yes. So, um, if, it, how deep is it? Like, is it like preset parts and stuff? Uh, there's preset parts. Uh, you could go. You could get creative with it. Uh, if you want to see an example of it, go on up, up, down, down. Uh, Xavier, uh, Cesaro, uh, Adam Cole, and Tyler Breeze make their characters and they actually do a big fight with it. So definitely check there out if you actually want to see the creator character. It was it was actually really fun. It was actually a really fun video too. Okay. Cool. Cool. You can you can make your character look weird. like everyone looks kind of weird, so you just gonna make your character look kind of weird, and that's about it. But it's it's a fun. It, it, like you you unlock parts, you unlock the co- costume pieces and stuff too. So there's always little options you can do. Okay. Cool. cool. Um, I haven't created someone yet, so I, I plan to do so. Oh, you don't have like a a, a a super specific guy you always make when you, because that's like usually what I have. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like if you give me a creative character, I'm yeah. always gonna make the first character. He's always in every wrestling game. He I create my character. character. I create my character in every wrestling game. My character was called Triple X for some reason before the movie. Yeah. Oh, it was because the Undertaker symbol looked like a T and an X, right? Okay. I think it's like what the what's that stand for? Does it stand for the Undertaker? Mm-hmm. So, so isn't the the cross is actually a U? Yeah. See, that's the thing that's confusing. I I didn't get that. So I thought it was T with the X. So I was like, well, what is that? What characters like would match that? So I'll put triple and the X. I'm like, all right, that's dope. Okay. And I had, I gave myself the brood intro. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, that's the one that everybody <laughs> took. You know? yeah. It's just like, so it's funny now, and we're gonna talk. We're gonna bring this up because this reminds me of another game that you said you got. Yeah. The collection. Because I'm seeing tech from those games being shared now. But the funny thing is, because it's old, it's just people that are showing things off that they couldn't show off before because they not everybody had the game yeah. like with the access to upload this stuff to the internet. Yeah. So I like that there's an influx of people just like, yo, look at this inventive way to do this. Meanwhile, this speed runs where that was like, oh, yeah, people do that for years. But it's also funny. It's fun to see people be 
uh the comparison between the two is like huh you can still have a lot of fun that reminds you of an older game yeah and a newer thing so i'm like all right so that's not cool i mean I'm sure there's some parts in this new WWE game you could probably find and make a cool ass character, right? Yeah, yeah. Make, I, I plan to do it. I, I plan to do it. Parts and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So why don't you just steal his mask and make it a different color? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just steal it and make it black, right? Because yeah. it's white. So. Yeah, I'll see. Okay. We're gonna see how it looks. I, I gotta, I gotta play around with it a bit more. I just did some of the story mode, and I just tried out some characters. They have like daily, uh, daily challenges, daily tasks to do, just so you keep playing the game and unlocking characters and things like that. So it's cool. I like it. I'm liking it so far. Um, does any work? Yes, but I see that they're working on it because they already had like two uh, updates already. Oh, so they they they're putting out the fires as they happen. Yeah. Okay. So they they're ready. You can tell they're working on it. Okay. Um, the other thing I picked up was Mario 3D All Stars, and I'm very disappointed with it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's very uh, not it's very plain. It's it's nothing special. Like I even you know what I'll say this is remember we had the Mario All Stars uh, collector's edition that came out. Okay. Um, that had just it was just pretty much Mario All Stars, but it was a uh, like, had all the soundtracks that had like that. At least they mm. made that a special thing. They made they made a brand new case. They made it with colors. They, the, the way it looked, the booklet that came inside it, and things like that. There was a lot of things special about it. Okay. This one had nothing. This one's okay. just a case. It has three case, the three games that are in it. And you put it on. It just shows cases. Three games you have it, and it has a soundtrack. That's about it. Is it like, at least is it a complete like soundtrack, or is it just like two songs? Or uh, no, it has all it has all the music from the games. That's not bad. It's bad when you like it's a, it's a sixty dollar game and you you expect a little something something from it. Yeah, I can see. It. There's no sizzle. Yeah, like I'm on that stick. I was a little disappointed with it. Like I I, I expect like at least honestly I will I will pay for these games separately if they fully remastered them. I think a lot of people would love a, a remastered 64. Yeah. I even like the fan one too. Yeah. Like this where they, they overhaul the in, I think it's in you uh Unreal 4, I think it is. Yeah, you was talking about it I think last week. Yeah, so ah, damn, it's kind of it kind of sucks to hear they didn't even go that far. Yeah, I think they I don't think they would have took that much to really upgrade this game. Like I think if you were planning to do that, you could easily like just update it. That's true. So I was a little disappointed with that, but um, it's a fun game. Um, I'm still gonna go through them. I never played Galaxy, so that's the one I'm gonna start first. Okay. I never got to play it. I had it on the Switch. I just never played it. I I just I actually never bought them. I didn't think I was gonna get into it. Yeah. But I, I heard it, Mario. I, heard it, I haven't played a new Mario game since. When it came out, since what's the one on the 3DS? Uh, the Mar- the new Super Mario Brothers, or the 3D one? No, new Super Mario Brothers, mm-hmm. the first one. Mm-hmm. That's the other one. That that's the one I played. Yeah, I like. That was one. that Wii? That was, was that on Wii? Wii as well. It was originally Wii, right? No, they came out on the 3DS first, and then they made one for the Wii. Okay, so but I played the Wii version as well. Yeah. So yeah, it was actually pretty fun, and that was like. But I think I dug it because it was more classic style. Yeah. I haven't I haven't played a 3D Mario since Sunshine. Yeah. And I, that even was like a friend's copy, and I mostly was just watching them play. Yeah. Because I didn't really play that much. <laughs> um, Odyssey was the last one I played, and I loved that game. That's the last one that yeah, came out. The last one, yeah. That was a beautiful game. That was probably one of my favorite Mario games. And what system is that for? Uh, Switch. Okay. Yeah, for gotcha. the Switch. Um, they are doing the 3D World, um, Super Mario 3D World, um, coming out in February. I'm actually looking forward to that one because I actually really like that game. I just never got to finish it because it's on the Wii U. And oh, it's also on the Wii U? Huh? It's only on it? It was only on the Wii U. Now it's coming to the Switch. 
Okay, so this is them porting it, or this is like a new one in the series? Um, so they're actually doing the bells and whistles for this game, and they're adding a, uh, an extra uh, game, like an extra like DLC to it with the oh. Bowser Fury. Yeah, so they're adding some things to it, at least. Uh, the game itself is pretty. I, I, th I guess they were just high rise and make it 4K kind of thing. Other than that, I don't see much work that has to be done to it. Okay. Got it, you. Yeah, it was a pretty game. It was a good game. Um, but yeah, I'm a little disappointed. I wish they did more. Um, they could have easily did more with the Bills and Whistles, especially for this being his 30th anniversary. Uh, what was it? 30th anniversary? Of Super 30. Mario? Huh? 35. 35 years of Mario. Like, for 35 years, you, you would think you would do something more special. I think they say that it's something big for 50. And they're not gonna do anything else. Uh, so we got a long I don't know, because what they showed wasn't that much. They showed the remote, the remote, two remote control cars. They did the Super Mario 70, uh, 35 and they, and that was it. And then, then these, and then that's it. There's nothing really special about it, to be honest. I, I'm really disappointed with Nintendo. The Mario's your guy. Don't, I mean, also don't forget the year we've had. I'm sure they, they're not I, exactly. Uh, uh, this is more of a reason, more of a reason to bring us, bring come, come with Mario with the bang because Mario makes people happy. I I don't know if they could get together and make that happen. Is what I'm trying to tell you. I'm just <laughs> saying. I'm just saying. I would have waited for a 3D All Stars if they were actually was putting the work in. No, that's true. I, people, I, if they would have said everything's coming out in December, I'm sure everybody would be like, okay exactly like i feel like they didn't have to rush it i feel like the like, oh it's coming out next year beginning of next year like, okay it's not his 35th birthday anymore but okay mm -hmm. <laughs> but i think people will accept it if they had time um but yeah i just feel like it was the emulator it, it, like the, it, it's their version of the emulators of the games and stuff like that so um, is that they, there's officially now a super uh 64 emulator um the the what the N sixty four version of the game is an emulator game. No, but does that mean now that that there's hope for the N sixty four? Yeah, there's talks about it. Um, they have so, not put it. That's good. Up yet. And that means that they're using their own emulator. Then hey, all right. Hey. Hey, if it brings into sixty four to the the switch, I'm. Oh, you know if it has special controls though. There's no rewind function on it because it's an old game. No. Damn. See it that seems that's like shit. <laughs> that's uh, see. See right there, if you put fast forward and rewind on 64 because of how old it is, like that's a that's a big deal to like yeah. those you know that era and back. Yeah. That's one of the cool things I did like that they added to like older games is when you hear that they did that. Like, all right, yeah. All right. Also, a lot of people were disappointed that uh the N64 it wasn't the 3DS version of the Mario 64. Now, what's special about that one? Well, that one would just had the other characters. You were able to be Yoshi, Wario, and Luigi. Really? And they had oh, no, more no. stars. No, the, okay, so that... Hmm, I wonder why. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe so they can sell it to you again. Exactly. They'd probably do that. They're slick bastards. I'm just saying. They have a hit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, other than that, yeah, that's all i kind of have right now with the games those are the two games i bought i've been on battleground I, I played it i'll probably play it more when i'm done and um i've been trying to keep up with wrestling because there's so much damn wrestling and then also we gotta watch prince of Persia, which is our verdict this week yes sir yes sir our second ben so. kingsley movie hmm i'm surprised there's not more okay <laughs> thank god <laughs> I mean, the cat. At least this one is way better than the other one he was in. Jesus, yeah, blood run bad. Um, so let's see. I think the only thing that I saw that was interesting was Nintendo related. So uh, that's probably it. Yeah, I mean, they did have a direct, right? That yeah. was last week. So yeah. I mean, there was the the. There's actually a few things that I might be interested in the Nintendo Switch for. Uh, but you know they're mostly Monster Hunter related. Oh yeah, they I, announced that. Or Monster Hunter Rise, which is the action game, and then there's uh, Stories Two. Stories Two, I don't really care. Yeah, it's, it's 
like is really really aimed at a, a younger demographic um so and I'm, I'm not really too much in the rpgs anymore i don't have the patience for them uh, if they, okay. like action rpgs i can mess with but i think stories is closer uh, i think stories one was turn-based so it's it's just a different type of fight so okay. that and then there's a bunch of things like there's the a new uh, the updated version of ori i believe is coming to switch there this is a whole bunch of like japanese century stuff i think because now is actually tgs because uh there was a playstation announcement also so this all lines up with i think what it actually would be a tgs announcements so it makes sense it makes sense yeah. so nintendo did direct i said uh, did anything from the direct catch your eye? Uh, honestly, I did not see the direct. All I know is the Monster Hunter because Julio posted it. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. So yeah, that's about the only thing I really, really was like, hey, I'll keep an eye on this. Yeah. Um, um did you actually check out that? Um, I sent you a picture of the Dragon Dogma um anime that's on Netflix. Oh no, I didn't actually watch the trailer yet. Did you see? Did you watch it? No, I haven't heard. It. Like when I saw it, it was saw this Dragon Dog in my thought of you. So I was like, "Yo, you might actually want to check this out. This is based on the game." Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I know. I knew it was a. It was a actual thing. I just. Do you know if that was the the? Um, because they have those now. They, was it the premiere trailer? No, it's up. It was, hmm? It's up. That's what I'm saying. Like it was probably the trailer to say it was out because they yeah. have those now, which is funny. Yeah. Instead of having just a trailer to let you know about it, now movies and games and stuff have a trailer that says out now. Yeah. So that's probably what that was. That's okay. pretty much what I was telling you. I, I, I just, honestly, I was going just going through Netflix and I saw Dragon's Dog. I was like, is this part of the game? Because the, 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 the picture for it looked out of place. It was just like skeletons on there. And I was like, the fuck? And then I oh. went into it and it was the anime. It was like based on Capcom's. Things. I was like, all right. Uh, that's what I thought of you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. I forgot about it. I forgot. Well, I forgot it came out. So. Yeah, busy. Oh, so much wrestling. Besides wrestling, yeah, there you go. Wrestling takes over everything. Like it has, it's too much. Like, yo, it's it's literally right now way too much. Because now you got the G one and G one been good too. It's like that's another like eight hours a week. Because they had two shows every Saturday Sunday. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh man, I don't know where I get the time. I watch sure. like half of that at work. Oh, I can find dead time and fucking watch it. Anyway, um, I want to go into this verdict. Oh no, we oh, talk yeah, about the PS5, huh? Price. Maybe which one? Oh yeah, sure. the system. A little bit about the PS5 because they announced the price, like finally. Yeah. After having to be a big, a big mystery. Three ninety nine, four ninety nine. Oh yeah, they have the small one, which is no disc, uh, no disc drive. Yeah. What they say is eight hundred twenty five gigabyte storage. Now listen to me. If you're telling me that the PS five only comes with one terabyte, and only eight twenty five is usable, I'm tired of it. Sony, get off that bullshit. You need <laughs> to put terabytes in there. That's it. Yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? The, the yeah. games are good. I've heard. I keep hearing it. It's a meme now, and I don't. I guess because you don't play it religiously, you probably are not into the meme. Uh, the meme either. But it probably shows up, and you know what it means. It's the it's the the, the Call of Duty. Yeah. The game is 100 gigs, and then every update is like 50 gigs. Yeah. But then like the game is like 400 gigs off of people's hard drive. It's like people saying, "Yo, this is the only game on my hard drive." <laughs> <laughs> you know, the original base hard jobs were like 500 like yo what is come on and so all right i'm stop giving them shit but they also anyway. had a lot of issues with their pre-orders as well that's what i heard so i heard it was on fire but again you who the hell can even get ready i guess i guess people should know by now right get ready yeah when you i'm stupid like pre-order to open now that your servers are gonna instantly burst into flames yeah so, because they know this is what's going to happen, they need to get better servers, period. Right? You want to know what happened? Fireproof. Well, first of all, Sony announced that, oh, it'll be available to pre-order Thursday. Mm-hmm. 
what do companies do like target walmart they put it on wednesday oh really they, they yeah they said, that's what happened they said no they said no no you're gonna buy it today and then when people pre-ordered it a lot of people just got canceled because it wasn't on thursday it was on wednesday so they pre so people pre-ordered twice canceled their original ones and picked up the new ones so all right so target i think target walmart best buy did it early so they did it on what so when they announced it wednesday uh so there it was live so i i think that they added it to their thing but i don't think they were supposed to have it online until tomorrow the next day so they had it on people bought it and we were able to go through it and shit like that a lot of their pre-orders got canceled because it wasn't the date it was supposed to be on thursday not wednesday a lot of crazy shit a lot of crazy shit and then um i got mine i I pre-ordered it i pre-ordered on amazon yeah i see people have different spots where they pre-order that yeah i pre-ordered on amazon i got the this one um i got to confirm that mine's got pre-ordered uh a lot Mm -hmm. of people got did not get that same notice a lot of people got that it might be delayed it might not you might not get it on time when release date and things like that i got mine so i'm getting mine on release date but they did this also with the PS4 when it launched. They also did this with the PS3 when it launched. And everyone was able to get their system on day one. So, Let's see what happens. Scott Steiner does not like this. But it was a lot of shit. It was a lot of like crazy shit. Um, even like price, the, the prices of things weren't uh, up to date. Like uh, my buddy Brendan, um, I was shout out his Twitch channel. It's classic uh, 0289. Um, he's on Twitch channel. Uh, he was able to, pr- he was able, he was trying to purchase a controller and he was able to purchase it for $1.99. Oh, okay. So it went through and he paid for it and he posted it up and he was like, oh, maybe uh, let's cross our fingers and see if it actually goes through. I told him straight out. Huh? How did you post it so somebody could see that? I don't know. Cause he, cause he was like, oh, look at, look what happened and kind of thing. But yeah, I told you- Away with, first of all, I'm gonna yeah. put him under the fire because when you get away with it, <laughs> why would you? You don't say shit until you get it, and then you post it. <laughs> he deserves not to get it. You, yeah. If you're gonna get, if you're gonna get away with something, get away with it. <laughs> so what happened was, I I honestly saw his post and I was like, yo, as much as I hope you get it and I hope it actually works, it's not. It, mm-hmm. it happened the same thing with me with a WWE figure that I I, fought, I saw for like eleven ninety nine and it was the wrong price. They just canceled mm-hmm. it and they were like, "Oh, you have to reorder." Simple as that. Yeah, and that's exactly what they did. So okay. I was like, "If you ever do that, don't say shit. This just is let true. it be." This is true. <laughs> they have people on the internet. Yeah, exactly. Like they look for it. they 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 the the employees are human beings like you and I. So they have to use a social media platform. So if you post one on there, please think. Yeah. <laughs> Cause they're gonna be like, uh, you gotta fix this right now. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm so yeah. Um yeah. but it wasn't just a system reveal, it was also part of a showcase. Yeah. Which is like this is supposed to be the launch window games. Um there's actually pr- a pretty big and I would say a pretty big uh gap in people wanting what they saw in this lineup versus what they saw in the xbox lineup i'm just gonna say that yeah i don't have to i don't want to take it there i'm not trying to start no fights but boy the stuff i saw the sony stuff sure as hell looked a lot more exciting yeah i agree so i'm just gonna say it. I, these are things i would purchase with my own money and i i'm not biased i i i I will, uh, most likely I will have both systems eventually, but I'm not going to go for I'm actually not going for the Xbox first. I'm going for the PS5 first because um, Jackie was like, all right, I'll pay. I'll pay half if you want to go for it. I was like, all right, let's do this then. <laughs> so, yeah, Spider-Man Miles Morales is the main game that I was sold on. The gameplay I saw and everything like that looks freaking dope. The only thing is it's coming out for PS4 as well. Mm hmm. So I was a little disappointed with that. I was like, I could just buy it on my PS4. I don't have to buy the PS3 five. This is buy a whole ass console just to play the damn game. But they also, um, I think they're they're 
but also you're gonna notice the, the price tag of the games. The price tag are gonna start at seventy dollars, which is only five dollars up from the end of your typical price. Because here, I don't know about the rest of the country, a game is sixty five dollars after tax. Well, it's gonna be sixty nine ninety nine plus tax, so it'll be like seventy six. Oh, oh that's not the price? Damn. So, so it'll that's be like seventy six eighty something. Like eleven dollars more when you purchase a game in yeah. New York, then. Yeah. I mean, whatever. I don't well, care. you know, you know what? If you really think about it, if you really think about it, if you buy a game, you usually get the deluxe edition or the special edition, which are usually around seventy-five to a hundred dollars. That's not. That's not how I do business because I know how to how to yeah. how to cook. A, a lot of people do that though. No, I, I'm just yeah. saying. I know how the how the sauce is made. I don't do that. Like mm-hmm. honestly, when I had the, the when I had the Best Buy discount and I was getting the twenty percent off on all games, I would just go for the bigger one because it came out the same price as a regular price game. More oh, sense, yeah, yeah. But um, so. it's gonna it's like it's a big price tag. The funny thing is, everyone's going bitching about it, but I was like, you know, if you actually look, huh? I want to tell you, that's not big. That's not big. I, I was just saying, like you know, like Super Nintendo games and N sixty four games ran for like seventy, eighty dollars. Yeah, they were seventy, eighty because there was there was no there was no cap at that time, and also sixty four games had no no cap. Yeah, you can get an official game for like a hundred dollars. So yeah, d- please be happy that there's a cap on what they can charge now. Yeah. So the the it could it could be worse. It could yeah. be worse. So like no, that's why I already I already know. But even realistically, that's not that big of a jump, because in time time period wise, we got two whole generations where there was no jump. Yeah. So no, they, they, that's fine. Because yeah. I know PS games used to cost forty to fifty dollars, and then it went up to sixty for PS three three sixty. Yeah. It just it is. It is. Yeah. So it's, it's business, and the games are are more expensive to make right now too. So yes, about the cost. The too. other thing that I think that people need to hold up every comp every company that is in this games market is to hold them more accountable yeah for the bullshit they pull with the purchase practices with this trying to sl- uh, microtransaction you to death where people still accept it they still buy the game and get mad yeah they're like yo i bought this game but this game is full of microtransactions yes i did watch the the preview and see that it was in there from day one and yes i did see that this game had exclusive content locked to one console and i'm mad and i still bought it yeah that's not how we should act people should go i'm mad and i'm gonna be a person of my principles but we'll see what happens because that's usually not what happens yeah honestly i'll, I'll say i'll be straight up like if, if like street fighter 6 comes out the way street fighter 5 came out fuck that game but that just goes to any like <laughs> EA game or anything. Yeah, that a hundred percent, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. But that no, one in so- particular, that one made me mad because that was like a twenty five percent of a game, oh, and yeah. I bought it. And I bought it. that shit brand new. The beta test. Yeah. Let's see. This is functional. Uh, it works a little bit. Like I don't mind. Like I don't mind the season passes. I don't mind like fighting games doing the season passes to make the game pre long, pre to to exist longer. I understand that they 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 fighting games are take long to make and things like that. It gives you time and everything like that. Like Tekken Seven, it being for what it is for a long time, I wish it was a little cheaper for the season passes because it's been out for that long. But other than that, I understand their season passes. At least it gives you something more to play. It fixes a lot of the things. I don't mind that. Same thing with like uh, Killer Instinct. I didn't mind that. Um, but when you sell me a game for f- full price. And have twenty five percent of the game, and little by little, I have to pay for more pieces of the game. That's where I get annoyed. At. I just get annoyed at companies like EA, yeah, and Activision that nickel and dime you for a god a god awful amount of stuff that could be in the game, yeah, because it's inconsequential stuff that you could lock behind in game currency instead of trying to just say, hey, you know, you want to get buy this premium pack yeah of skins but we're going to take time to to take time and money away from you know development to make all this stuff to to entice you to buy this stuff because the impressionable minds will just sit there and purchase hey man i got 75 skins on my gun dog how much you pay for that a million dollars what 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Where they just get away with robbery. And it's like it turns the ecosystem of any game into you just roll your eyes at it and don't want to deal with it. Yeah. It's like that type of stuff. I'm talking about I want to see more meaningful shit yeah. for sale from everybody. Like, I'm tired of like hearing stories about how FIFA has rings of people stealing from each other to make money like pirates <laughs> on a game cars are worth money i'm like yo what are you doing son how'd you start this black market economy over some bullshit so i, I want more companies to stop trying to turn to rob people that's what i'm talking about yeah. dude and they blame like, you I, you. Like, yeah Capcom is dumb but they didn't start out trying to rob you they were that, that game was an experiment that went wrong they failed yeah they're not like companies that have m- billions of dollars not to say millions billions that try to rob you every time they make a game and try to sell you bullshit. That's that's all. If you want to charge me more money, put all the bullshit in the game. Yeah. Stop trying to sell G codes too. Yeah. Like I'm just, I'm sorry. Like the the one reason I think that if you ever think about the times between uh or the the, the period of gaming between back then, which was Super Nintendo, uh, 64 era. Uh, PlayStation era, right? I'll go all the way to PS2 era. PS2. PS2 I think era. it stopped, started with the PS3 and 360. It did. It did. Because the marketplaces became a big thing. That's mm-hmm. why. But it was just, you remember that you got full games. Yeah. The idea was flushed out. Yeah. And I think that a lot of companies today, they go into the mindset knowing that people do ask for post release content. Yeah. So they, the game. And then the, they make the game, and then the game has this hole in it somewhere where it's like we can fill that with post game, you know, post game content. Yeah. Or you end up buying a game that's seventy five percent complete because they made it, thinking we can sell you some other shit later. Yeah. That, like I, I, I wish they could stop doing that because they made enough money where they could give you the whole thing yeah. from the gig. So that's what i want for a price increase yeah that's um, all i want like, give like, me a full game like what give um, me skip in the game you know what i'm saying oh they're coming and give me scott Steiner. like i'll say for example right now um one of the biggest games that's coming out this year cyberpunk cyberpunk already announced that they're not charging you for dlc for the the dlc content that's coming out is not going to be charged it's going to be free as charge if you want to update to a ps5 if you buy a ps4 version you get a free upgrade no questions asked those are the things that 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 company itself is doing um mm-hmm. uh, there's some games that I, i'll give them credit to like um ghost of shima ghost of shima I, I don't expect honestly the way the story ended and things like that i don't expect dlc but them doing that whole multiplayer shit and that's going to be absolutely free that's fucking amazing mm-hmm. yep that's yep. example of the good things of gaming the, the, the good side of things but if i have to play madden and buy packs in order to pay or to order to be somewhat good in a game nah that's not cool Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but i'm not into that i I stopped honestly i this is the first year i did not buy a sport game whatsoever usually i buy nba usually i buy madden i did not touch any either one of those so you didn't get a did it didn't did you follow up on what they were doing this year and it didn't impress you it just didn't look different like honestly I- i'll wait until like the nba i'll wait until how it looks on ps5 okay and see if there's it- see this is my big thing with the ps5 is like it's not a dramatic change mm-hmm. it like from where we were at from the ps2 to the ps3 that was a dramatic change yeah. from now into the ps5 is i don't see the dramatic change i, I really don't i i see it's shinier i see it more like that but it also looks like a ps5 ps4 cutscene too that's one game that looks like it's ps it's, it's next gen and that's the that's demon souls yeah so i don't know if you got to see the showcase i did see that one tra- that looked cool souls does not look like it can, it looks like it can't be run on any system that exists right now yeah like look the, the particle effects the the detail on the characters the faith the fact that they have somebody pointed out that when they the guys get killed you can see the expression change so i just remember 
or, or not even have to remember, but I understand and I know for a fact that the last games in that series, which are graphically very, you know, very, very much up there, like Dark Souls 3 is graphically intensive, right? Yeah. Those characters don't even have expressions on their faces. Like, God. It's just like they couldn't do it. They couldn't have the memory left over to even do that and to see how big in detail they are. I forgot, I forgot that you even fighting human beings. Yeah. Because on, on the early PS3, that game kind of, the enemies kind of look like poop. So <laughs> I don't mean in a bad way. I mean, they kind of look like little doo doo men. Yeah. Because like, just brown guys. Like, what is that? All right. Um, but I know what you're, you're saying. Yeah. But uh, the one thing I will say is just that overall, I hope that the, these companies that we we're still waiting for, because they weren't, those companies didn't have their showcase. This yeah. was mostly people who were collaborating for specifically to be released for day one yeah so you didn't see from from activision or ea we saw support for their older games like on the on the something called the the what was it the playstation collection yeah so like a new perk coming to the ps plus is that you will be get access to just basically i what they're saying is a a collection of ps4 games to play on ps5 I'm assuming those are all. I'm assuming that they're probably just gonna say, "Here's the list of the ones that get the features," so we're gonna let you play them. Yeah, they kind of did that with the the PlayStation Plus Gold uh, thing. Like, don't forget that all the games on PS4 will not receive features. They will not receive boosts. Yeah. So that's probably a list of all the games that will, because one of the first ones they showed was Bloodborne. I'm like, all right, yeah. well, you done sold a lot of people already. Yeah. <laughs> Cause the, Except, yeah, well, they did the whole um, the the plus thing. Like I think that those are the games that are going to be upgraded in, in high res. Um, with Spider Man Miles Morales, if you buy the seventy dollar version, you get the the remastered version of the Spider Man game. Yeah, that's yeah, that's the the, the actual purchase though. You need to re- the re- purchase is supposed to be required for you to purchase the PS Four one. Yeah, this is not related to buying a game. This is related to PlayStation Plus, which yeah. is like it's. If you pay your monthly now, or you can do it monthly. If you pay your fee for the the, the plus uh, membership, yeah, those are the games. They're, they're gonna give you access, but they didn't say how many. Uh, That's they, the problem. They, it's pretty much they didn't name the list. It was pretty much their main like um, their main first party games like Horizon Zero Dawn, God of War. Um, what was it? Um, Dead by Dead Day Gone Days Gone. Yeah, yeah, Days Gone. They showed uh, Battlefield. They showed Modern Warfare. Yeah. Like, like you know, they, they showed this. This is what I'm saying. The companies that they showed they weren't necessarily there for yeah. their own games this time. They were just featured in a list. So, yeah. so, people, I'm expecting to, I'm waiting to see what they offer for next gen, like Activision and EA. Yeah. They have some of the franchises I want to see, like Mass Effect. Yeah. I've been and hearing I, about this damn more, remaster for the longest time. Yeah. See if it actually happens. The, the only thing I saw was some article about this, this confirmed uh, product listing somewhere in another country. In Brazil. And I'm like, Wait, when it comes to America, please tell me. Yeah. I I'm just, like, buy- I see it when I believe I believe it when I see it. <laughs> I'm not buying it from a Brazilian server. Sorry. No. You will not have my information this day. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, I don't. They holding certain things hostage, man. Yeah. That's what I'm just waiting to see what they say. Like I wouldn't otherwise. I wouldn't give a shit. Cause who else is there? Like Ubis- Ubisoft has to do a. Uh, well, they kind of did. They kind of did do a presentation, thing. but they didn't because of the timing. It's like not really considered a PS5, Xbox, yeah. uh, series, whatever. But so showcase, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Okay, so I yeah. got the list of the games that's going to be part of that PS Plus collection. Is uh, Batman mm-hmm. Arkham Knight, uh, Battlefield 1, Bloodborne, Days Gone, Detroit Become Human, Fallout 4, Final Fantasy 15, God of War, Infamous Second Son, The Last Guardian, The Last of Us Remastered, Monster Hunter World, uh, Mortal Kombat X, Persona 5, Ratchet & Clank, Resident Evil 7, uh, Uncharted 4, and Until Dawn for now. But got you. So that's gonna be a new feature. Yeah. And hopefully they don't charge you more. <laughs> no, nah, it's supposed to be uh, part of the plus conduction. 
So we'll see. They're trying to but, do something but, similar to what the game pass is. I'm, I'm just gonna assume that that's gonna be. I I would assume for them, for their sake, that they're only gonna put games that receive boosts from the PlayStation Five on that list. Me too. I hope so. It's not gonna put a game in there. It's like this looks the same. Yeah. So. I mean, I that's pretty so. cool. That's pretty cool. I hope so. Um, the Arkham Knight, I'm actually interested in seeing. You just told me that, right? Uh, now that I know the joys of 60, 60 frames per second gaming, I wonder if Monster Hunter World is going to run at 60 on that system. Because they're promising 100, 120 frames per second on some games. Like, they, they show Devil May Cry Special Edition. Yeah. Which they did. Which they usually do, but this time they waited for the, another system. Because DMC5 was like, what was it, last year? Yeah, like it we it uh, it came out pretty recently, um, so not enough time passed for the special edition to even be a thing. So yeah. now that's on PS5 exclusively. Time really it says so. I assume it's gonna be on you know Xbox, but they said that one is exclusive to consoles only. Yeah, so it was like all right, I see what you're doing. I don't like it, but I see what you're doing. That's and then they're gonna brand new PC. Hurt. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're gonna put Virgil everywhere, but the the specific system things are locked to the consoles. Which I'm like, all right, let's see. And then they they have a little rundown of some of them, yeah. which is like ray tracing and a few other features. And I'm like, well, what? so how come I can't get this? <laughs> <laughs> and so now I'm just mad. But yeah. but that's one. Of, that's an example of a game that it is gonna get the features. Yeah. I saw, yeah, I saw like extra people on the screen as well. And, like, extra. Yeah, they're having more modes where they can do that. Yeah. But ah, man, why not? Why not PC though? That's all I'm saying. They're like, why? Why, they why you gotta do? <laughs> and then there was a mess up. I don't know if you saw this one on the Sony presentation for Demon Souls. Yeah. Where at the bottom of the screen it had a message, uh, time exclusive for consoles and PC. And then so they people were like, oh shit, that means Demon Souls is coming out on so- and everything else, right? And then a Sony representative had to make a statement. Uh nah. No, it's not. That's a it's lie. Just- <laughs> Don't believe that. Lie. That was just writing on shit from the Yeah, company. that was they, that, they you know what that was. <laughs> so since I know what happens when you uh make pictures for, for like the a thumbnail, yeah. Somebody yeah. copied and pasted it, it just took the same picture and put different things on it. And they just had that at the bottom. I know what it was. Somebody was being slick. Yeah, it's coming to everything. Real so, soon. Watch. <laughs> yeah. So, so no, unfortunately, you still have to buy Demon Souls. I love how shout outs to avoiding the puddle, uh, errors. He's like, Well, I'm gonna have a five hundred dollar Demon Souls machine, basically. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> I'm my thing is Miles Morales. I am definitely getting that day one. That's the main game I yeah, that's honestly that's the only game I really want to play right now is that. Um I kinda dug the trailer. I liked the, the Tinker being one of the villains. Um The Tinker is a weird villain. It, 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 Tinker is more like a, a, a weapon maker for most of the villains and shit. He had I remember. He, he did had a, he did had a, a time to being a villain, but he wasn't that great of a villain. But he was better at making weapons. Yeah, he was like the guy you went to to get something crazy. Yeah. yeah. So they kind of doing the watchdog with her, and that's that's interesting. He looks like a watchdog's character, right? <laughs> right, right. And then the, the the two gangs and shit. Like, I was like, ah, it's kind of generic in that sense, but I liked the way it looked. I liked how uh, Miles kind of played. He played a little different than what Spider Man looked, well Peter Parker looked like. So I was happy with that. Mm-hmm. I like the integration of his different powers and stuff. The yeah. stealth, the the shock power, like that's it. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Um, I do want to see him like not us, uh, not like. See, he has a learning curve, so I I don't want to see him like knowing how to fight. I kind of want him to be a bit clumsy when he fights some way. That's probably not gonna happen because it nah. seems like they're picking up. <laughs> they're yeah. picking up something. Yeah, yeah. but it's like I hard. seen like I, I watched him fight and he has like something different than Parker at least. So at least they did that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. It's true, and um, I, I actually, I actually gives me an excuse to play Spider-Man again on the PS5, and I will get the remastered one just to replay it. 
Because I hundred yeah. her platinum it. So I was like, oh, I could, and, it, and it counts as a separate platinum. They actually added more. Tro- they added they added a few trophies too. Oh, okay. So I was okay. like, all right, I'll, I'll definitely. They'll give me an excuse to remaster, um, to re play the remaster. Other than that, like um, Demon Souls, I may try. I've never got into any of the games, so they'll probably be the first one I'll try. Um, other than that, then nothing. Uh, Ratchet and Clank, maybe. Uh, other than that, I, I could wait until some more stuff come out. Mm-hmm. Um, but I hope it's good. The, the final teaser was uh, God of War, so that yeah. was cool. Uh, like oh, it's Rock. Is God of War Ragnarok Rock or something? Right, uh, Ragnar Ragnar Rock. I can't even say the word. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. they they show the the logo and then the words Ragnarok yeah. showed up on the screen and Kratos says something. I don't know what he said. You know I just the voice actor was going crazy on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> he was just posting videos of himself. And it was just like it was him and his his I guess his his little shrine to yeah. God of War. Yeah. Cause like he has it I guess he has everything. <laughs> like everything, everything God yeah. of War. And then it was just like a picture of all that. And then you just see his big ass smiling face. <laughs> And then there's another one where he just is like he has like a little still, and then you just see his hand. I just grab the phone, and he just goes, "Boy," because <laughs> that's it. He's going back to work. Yeah. Um. You know, uh, I was. You want to know what game I wasn't really impressed with? What's that? Final Fantasy. Oh man, I wanted to get that shit immediately. Yeah, I wasn't impressed by it. I was like finally it's a fi- it's a fantasy game again and not some dudes on an adventure in their minivan yeah i i wasn't impressed i i, I didn't really care like i was looking at it luigi like i luigi like the cinematics and like just the videos and stuff like that luigi what will get me like interested in a final fantasy and i didn't really see that with this one i saw the fighting system looks dope and i hope yeah. it's an evolution of 15 and it looks like seven yeah i guess so but I do you see the character like throwing the magic and flying around like like fifteen. So yeah, I think it's gonna be something like, similar to like the dude with the spear. Yeah, the main character. Yeah, knocks it. He throws the, his his weapon at the enemy and is able to follow up and like do all sorts of really cool shit. Um, but I like the fucking summons, dude. Like that's my thing with Final Fantasy. So like this seems like the main story is gonna be the summons now. Yeah, because like they they go through waves with that. Where like the big thing is either the the weapons, which are like these actual things in the world. Yeah. And then they didn't even get to that in Final Fantasy VII, did they? Oh shit, they don't. Cause Sephiroth didn't, doesn't wake them up yet. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Shit, that's gonna. I can't wait for part two. Um, but like that's what really got me. It was like, oh, it's not in the city anymore, and it's fantasy and it's like summons. I'm like, I'm in. Yeah. It just doesn't look. That's probably the game that doesn't look the next geniest out of them all. It looks like that's like a. It looks like what it is. It looks like an end of life PS4 game. Yeah, they, I think that's what it was. Like I, I just didn't feel like what it was. The, what they were showing. Hmm. Um. I like it was just like ah, it doesn't look that impressive. I, I don't know about that shit. Yeah, that shit was dope. I, I, I'm a sucker for fucking combos though. They show yeah. me combos. <laughs> Like, that's all you, if you show me your video game, you can do badass looking combos. All right, yeah. uh, at least look at it. I still not crazy about the color. I'm still not crazy about the controller. <laughs> but oh, um, I guess it, when I see it in person, I'll see what. How it I feels. I don't give a shit. Just put a put a towel over it. Yeah. It'll just be the ugly stuff, child. <laughs> I, I most likely will trade it in when Spider Man Two comes out and get the Spider Man version. <laughs> <laughs> they, they would do something like that yeah i was mad that they didn't do one for like miles morales mm. but then again it's I not a full it. it's not a full full game like it's it's a full game it's a game but it's not a full game what it's gonna be it's like uh it's like the lo- the the uncharted lost legacy thing they're not starting it from scratch no really so like this takes place at the end of the other game. Yeah. Oh, so it's like a chapter or something. Yeah, it's like a separate. It's a separate storyline, but it's connected to the game. But it's not. A, it's not a full sequel. 
Uh, 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 uh. Does that mean it's going to be shorter than the regular games? It could be. Oh, shit. I didn't know about that. The game what? was long. Though. The first game was long, so I, I could see it being somewhat lengthy, but I could I could see it being maybe like a maybe a 30 hour for it for 30 hour to 20 hour, 25 hour game okay yeah it, well, that, it, is that what they usually are i haven't played spider-man well, Spider was yet. about a 40 hour game so that's about the same in the ballpark yeah 10 hour quarter yeah. i mean is it how do you for 40 hours the story is now 40 hours is no, it? no no it's like just like all the collection collecting shit and all that stuff Oh, yeah, so all right. Well, if you trim out some of the not unnecessary stuff, that sounds about <laughs> sounds about right. Yeah, that's one of the things I don't like about open world games is when it's just too much shit for no reason. Yeah. Well, how was Spider Man about that? Was it too much shit for no reason to collect? It was. Stuff? It was just a lot of um, things you had to collect. Like they had backpacks. Then you had like these science, these labs that you had to find, and you had the buildings you had to find, and you had um. The, the criminal criminal uh yeah the fight certain gangs you had like the pretty much what every game does they have like the the gang in one area that you have to take care of and clear it out um they had things like that and then they had the story so there was a lot of like collecting and repetitiveness in that sense but it was still fun so if they trim that out would, you, would it be a better game um if they short, I'll say they if they shorten it a bit because not all that collecting shit could have, I could not do with all that collecting. That was a lot. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Did it? Well, did it at least add to the game though? Like when you did the collecting, well, you did got you the get suits and stuff. The game. You got mm -hmm. suits and stuff. Okay. Well, I mean, and each suit had like a suit. different perk and things like that. So you actually at least got suits off of it. All right. So it wasn't useless. Useless. Okay. Yeah. It was just like repetitive and just like annoying so there's probably a balance there you can finally find yeah it's like all assassin's creed games and assassin's creed have the same shit yeah that's why i don't play <laughs> that's exactly why i stopped playing though yeah. hey assassin's creed yeah i played this one last year all right <laughs> glad to see you guys are still going yeah um yeah i guess we sh let's get into our verdict yes sir yes sir uh, uh prince of persia uh, Thankfully, it wasn't as bad as the past few. Yeah. Uh, it was Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, 2010. Hey, this was the 28th of May in the United States. Uh, it was actually a longer movie, but for some reason, it didn't drag as much as the last two for sure. Okay. Uh, Street Fighter Chun Li, it hit a real, it hit a wall real early, and Tekken just. It got it got real dry. Um, this movie, at least, it has something, either visually or, uh, I actually I actually kind of dug the parkour action like in relation to the prince's character. Yeah, because at least everything regarding his character seemed on point for what they were going for. Yeah, it was literally a sands of time. If you're not if you're gonna put the name of the game in the title and not acknowledge any of it then you've already failed so aside from like not having the costume it was pretty much the same guy from the game yeah um i think they fleshed out the character's origin more because in the game you don't have his like childhood yeah so at least to that end that's where the movie gets like its originality and at it's funny enough them giving him an origin actually stands to strengthen strengthen the the, the the major plot points of the story because it's about him the brother the king and like the relationship they that they had and what they what the king saw in him to pick up a dirty kid off the street you know yeah. what i'm saying so at least to that it was like why did they show us this one moment in time yeah. oh that makes sense okay yeah. i get it it's not just convenient because one of the bad things about this movie is that a lot of shit just conveniently happens <laughs> kind of like a video game it's yeah. just like oh it just so happens that this guy's gonna be here and you're gonna be all, you're gonna be able to run on all these horses for real and those <laughs> campers didn't just freak out when you jumped on them really all right yeah so it's a lot of it's a lot of like there's some fantastic fantastic color uh, mm, 
supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Some, some, <laughs> it was magical shit going on in this movie. Dude. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. So, yeah. you kind of, I, I knew early on to not look at it. You know what? It sets the tone. It sets its own tone. Like it's not that serious of a movie. Like people die and stuff, yes, but this is not a definitely serious movie. No, they try to make it. They they had a lighthearted areas, and they also had some funny areas as well. They kind of did mm-hmm. the basic action movie with some funny parts to it. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, CGI wasn't that great. Yeah, it doesn't age well. But they had money. You could tell they had money for this movie. <laughs> That Disney money of all the movies for Disney to grab up, Prince of Persia. Man. All right, they they, they uh, the sad thing is they kind of wanted to make this a franchise. They wanted to do three movies of this. I think that I think it probably would have been like the games, yeah, where where you get the dark edgy second one, and then the third one is like, all right, you know what, this one was actually pretty good. Yeah, kind of sad you didn't get a third movie. Yeah, we didn't get a second. <laughs> I know. That's fine. Um. <laughs> We have uh, Sir Ben Kingsley in this movie. He returns. Um, this is the second movie with him in it. Uh, Jake Gyllenhaal is the main actor. Uh, the chick, I forgot where she's from. I remember seeing her in Hansel and Gretel with um, with Hawkeye. Oh, her name is Gemma Archerton? Yeah. I have no idea. No idea Gemma. where she's from. Gemma Archigen. Yeah, she was in uh, this uh, Hansel and Gretel movie that they did. It was kind of like a action movie version of Hansel and Gretel. It was with uh, um, it was with uh, this dude uh, from the guy to play Hawkeye in Avengers. Uh, Jeremy Pri- um, I can't think of his name right now. I know the guy. Yeah. I, I, not, I don't know his name though. Uh, damn, I can't think of his oh, name. Oh, Jeremy Renner. Yeah. That- that's the guy. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he did. She did a Hansel and Gretel movie with them, and they made that like a whole action pack and shit. That is just funny. Okay. She's very pretty. Was she good in the movie? She was alright. Oh, she died. That was seven years. That was seven years ago. Jeez. Not like you said. There's a lot of like sand. Uh, <laughs> a lot of sand colors in this movie. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a filter over this movie in a lot of places. Well. I was like, is that throughout the whole movie? It's not, but you can see that it actually is. The yeah. indoor scenes have a filter on it. Yeah, and like you brought it to my attention that this is nothing but a bunch of brown face. It's a bunch of white, a lot, of, a lot of white, white uh, Persians. I don't know what happened. Yeah, I was saying the same shit. I was like, yeah, there's a lot of white Persians in this place. One Indian dude and a bunch of like just you know generic white people. Like <laughs> you have Alfred Molina here, Doc Ock. Yeah, I love him really. <laughs> he's my favorite character in the movie. He was um, funny. He was really funny. His timing is just like he's really good at talking a lot and and having a point to it, but setting a story at the same time and not being like boring or annoying. Yeah. Like it's a really, it's a really like nuanced quality that he has because like that type of character could either be really good or really annoying. Yeah. Like the comic, the comedic relief, the ah, oh, he's shady, but he has a heart of gold type of guy. Yeah. Like, yes, it's not original, but he does a good job in this movie. Yeah, he was good. I, I say he's my favorite character. I didn't mind Jake Gyllenhaal as as um, the main character either. I thought he kind of looked the, like the character. Well, the character lineup looking like him in the last game they did. Mm-hmm. But um, I thought he did a good job. I like him as an actor, so I thought it, he was fine. The action scenes fit, um, and the chick I thought she was great too. So it was a fun movie overall. Like I actually enjoyed it more than I thought I would. I actually went in not thinking that this is going to be a, a high budget piece of doo doo, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. but I actually enjoyed it. I I kind of like seeing that it's like from the producers of Pirates of the Caribbean. I kind of see it. And I was like, yeah, it feels like a Pirates of the Caribbean movie. If there's a there was another movie that this felt more like, but I think that was because of the sand. It felt like a mummy movie. Yeah, um, there was there was another one that, that uh, John Carter. I remember that movie, and it kind of felt like that too. Like it was just like, or uh, like you, you said, like Lawrence in Arabia kind of thing, which also that also whitewashed a lot of people too. <laughs> but uh, it reminded yeah. me of that movie for two reasons. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that it, it kind of gave me that feel to it. It kind of also reminded me of the the current Aladdin movie that came out. Um, 
honestly, I, I, I saw a lot, a lot of Aladdin in this movie besides the genie. I can see that. A dumb At one least in a way the, and things the, like that. Aladdin, yeah. A cartoon one, definitely, because he was an action packed prince, yeah. Yeah. But you know what's funny? You say that they kind of stole him from the original Prince of Persia. Yeah. The little guy that just jumps over stuff. It was like, yeah, that kind of is him. Yeah. yeah. So, so it's well, full circle. Yeah. There you go. There you go. But I enjoyed it. I actually enjoyed it more than a lot of the movies that we actually reviewed. It might actually go like it might make a like mid tier in my list. For me, it's top five. Like top I have, five. I have a, I have a real like for the movie. Yeah. Because it's just one of those. It, it for some, the 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 way I can tell I enjoy watching is because I don't mind how long the movie was. Yeah. Like I wasn't sitting there like, damn, it ain't over yet. <laughs> like, other movies, Chun, Legend of Chun Li and Tekken had me had me just checking the clock. <laughs> It's like, damn, this ain't over yet. Yeah. How much money they gave these people? <laughs> <laughs> oh man! But this was a fun movie. Um, yes, I, I, I saw like a lot of bad reviews on it too, and then I'm just like looking at it. And I'm like, ah, right, it's not that bad. It I just want to point out one thing because it's it's not a common trend in a Disney movie. It's PG-13, and people get cut up. Yeah, like. One of the main characters, the dude's prince's brother, uh, no spoiler, but towards the end, he gets his throat slit by the Vasilla. He just gets got. Yeah. Like it's pretty violent for for a Disney movie. Like okay, I'm motherfuckers had like, ten years to watch this. So. Spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> um. So where does this gonna be rank in your movies? Uh, let's see. So number one is Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Number two is the Way, right? Yep. Number three is what? Double Dragon? Yep. Or Mario? Uh, number three is Mario. Number three is Mario. Number four is Double Dragon? Yeah. What is number five? Street Fighter. What is over? What is Street Fighter? Under Street Fighter? Postal. This is over Postal. Postal. I, I think I'm going to go with the same spot. So it's numbers. It didn't crack the top five, but it cracked the top ten. There you go. Cause you know what's you know what's interesting that now the top five, the movies are getting enjoyable, so it's filling out. Yeah. So uh, it's it's not gonna be so well, bad to be down the list. So. Well, um, <laughs> our next two movies are Resident Evil movies. <laughs> I like the next one. I think the next one is my favorite one. Okay. Was it is it It's three D. Uh yes. Yeah. I I again I like that that specific trash. I like it. Yeah. Um so yeah, um I'll go through our, our... Wesker, son. Wesker. Wesker. <laughs> He's only in the movie for five minutes though. Come on. Damn. <laughs> uh let me just get the list of movies we have left and then I'll run down to our top our top well twenty six now. We have twenty six movies on this list. Mm-hmm. We did twenty six movies on this list. Damn quarantine made us watch a lot of movies. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, here we go. So our next movies will be Resident Evil Afterlife, Resident Evil Retribution, Silent Hill Revelations, and Need for Speed. I'm curious about Need for Speed. Me too, because I'm hearing so many good things about it. Like every single person I, I said, like, oh, we uh, we have Need for Speed in this list, and they were like, yo, that was actually a really good movie. And um, I like Aaron Paul, so I was like, all right. He was in, That's um, the yeah. Okay. He's gotcha. in um, Breaking Bad. Is it is it filmed in any special way? I do not, dude. I have not watched. Any, I I don't even remember watching a trailer for this movie. Mm. But Same I've here. been Same. hearing nothing but good things about it. So. Oh, I'm, I can't wait. Right now, our standings are. Uh, we did 26 minutes. Uh, well, going into 26. Uh, Mortal Kombat number one, Super Mario for me, uh, DOA for you, uh, DOA for me is three, Mario's for you, uh, four is Double Dragon, five is Street Fighter, six is Prince of Persia, seven is Postal, eight is Resident Evil 2 for me, Tomb Raider for you, nine is Doom, uh, Resident Evil 2 for you, ten is Tomb Raider for me, Doom for you, eleven is Resident Evil 3, twelve is Silent Hill, 13 is Resident Evil, 14 is Tomb Raider 2, 15 is Wing Commander, 16 is House of the Dead, 
17 is Max Payne, 18 is Blood Rain, 19 is In the Name of the King, 10, um, 20 is Tekken for me, Street Fighter, Legend of Chun-Li for you, um, 21 is Street Fighter, Legend of Chun-Li for me, Far Cry for you, 22 is Far Cry for me, Alone in the Dark for you, uh, 23 is Mortal Kombat 2 for me, Hitman for you, 24 is Hitman for me, Tekken for you, and 25 is London Dark for me, and MK2 for you. That's a long ass list so far. <laughs> yes. Yeah, You're no. gonna keep going. So we got a double feature of Resident Evil movies. Which will be our last Resident Evil movies. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Let me not say nothing and then Emil Jovovich. You gotta prepare for Monster Hunter, man. <laughs> yeah, Monster Hunter's coming. I, I think by the time it's we're done. getting to the end of this. It'll Monster probably be on DVD. Yeah. It'll yeah. probably be on streaming already. Yeah. Okay. I think by the time we get towards <laughs> the end of this, uh, Monster Hunter will be out. Uh, we got some good ones, and we got some bad ones on the list, though. Uh, we got Agent... There's a Hitman, Agent 47. Mm. There's Warcraft. There's Assassin's Creed, which I did not like when I first saw it. Oh, shit. We, I just, we, we got that's one something one. I thought about watching this movie. Yeah. It was, an, it was a better Assassin's Creed movie. Yeah. We do have because he even person. does the pose where he's standing up there and he dives off. I was like, that's that's his creed. Uh-huh. Yeah. We do have another Resident Evil movie. This is not the last there. There's one more. <laughs> it just never ends. Uh, then we have Tomb Raider, Rampage, Dead Trigger, Detective Pikachu, and Sonic the Hedgehog. Mm-hmm. That's that's it, right? Yeah. I mean, well, that's that's the good stuff right there, really. But I love Sonic. I did love Sonic. Mm-hmm. All right, I guess we wrap this up. Yes, yeah, sir. I yeah, yeah. Damn, just thinking about it. So far, till we get to Sonic. Um. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you for listening. This has been another episode of the It Gets Better I Swear podcast. Um, wait, did we did we score this movie? Oh, we did not. Um, I give it a. I give it a four. I was about to say the same thing. What do you, what do I give Mortal Kombat? Mortal Kombat is a five. Yeah, because it's like the, I say it's the perfect video game movie. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Four. Give it a solid four. four. Um, okay. Yeah. So yeah, we have uh, the two Resident Evils next. Ew. Yeah. So we we'll wrap this so, up. Try it again. So you know. <laughs> uh, make sure you check us out anywhere and everywhere. Red Cyclone Inc. That is Twitter. Tumblr, Instagram. We're on YouTube and SoundCloud as well, where you can hear the Wrestling Babble podcast, um, as well as the Ah Shell Shock, the Game and Rage podcast, the damn we got not a Trekkie, the not Trekkie, the Morphin the cast, the Morphin cast. Yeah. yeah. Um. So make sure you check that out on SoundCloud. Um. And what else we got? Did I say WordPress? We got a WordPress. There you go. Check it out. Uh, where you at, Mark? Follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, uh, SoundCloud, YouTube, and Twitch TV. Or Mark with the mic. Follow me. Uh, follow us on Rest Cyclone Inc. and the Wrestling Babble pages on Facebook. And also follow the Jinkies. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sandwiches. Six foot sandwich. Six foot sandwiches. Six feet on both sides. That's what I said. Yeah. Um, also check out our other cast uh, we will be recording for Ash Shell Shock Game of Rage and uh, Ash Shell Chain and not a tracking next week so we'll have new episodes soon so be prepared um, peace out laters peace and stay safe yes sir and again don't let him eat them sandwiches Six feet between you and the sandwich. And him. And him. Let's remix it.